Hello everyone, how are we doing today? Today's video is a lot of fun. I'm gonna be sharing a what I eat in the day video. This video was requested from my how I cure tooth decay video. And so what I'll be doing is sharing our diet that follows that protocol and just what it looks like in a day. This video is a collaboration with Audrey from the Fit Fearless and Faithful Mom. After our fitness video, we both got requests to do a food video. So we are sharing what we're eating right now. When you're done watching this, go ahead and head over to Audrey's channel. I'm sure that she's gonna have a lot of good food inspiration as well. I'm basically going to explain it and I will show you pictures too of just the general formula I follow to get in those nutrients, which are vitamin A, E, and K every single day. And um, yeah, every day follows the same formula. I keep it really simple. So in the morning, we start out by making ourselves a smoothie. And this way I can get the kids their raw milk, I can get the avocados, I can get cod liver oil into that, and then I can also get greens. Sometimes we'll use fresh greens and other times I'll use a greens powder. So we make our smoothie and the kids love their smoothie. I'm not a breakfast person. I, not only am I not hungry in the morning, but I just don't like to cook in the morning because I just wanna relax and enjoy a hot beverage and not cook for another few hours. So this smoothie has been a really great way for me to get everyone filled, their, get their stomachs filled without having the stress of cooking like a big pan of eggs because you know after you cook then you have to clean it and then it's just, you know, the, the whole day gets going from there. So I really love doing the smoothie right away, right in the morning. Um, next, we do some sort of an egg dish and eggs are really good, particularly the egg yolks for healing teeth. And what I usually do is I look at what I have in my fridge from leftovers from the night before. So for example, we had eaten chicken and this chicken and spinach bake for dinner the night before. So what I do is I just get the leftovers from the bake and I throw it with eggs. But that could work for anything. It could be you know, hamburgers or whatever. You just throw it with the eggs and I scramble it up, throw some cheese on top, boom, grass-fed cheese. And I also use generous amounts of grass-fed butter. Ideally, I'd be throwing veggies in with the eggs. It doesn't look like I threw very many veggies in this day, but the more vegetables, the better. And so there you go. And then finally for dinner, that's when I actually kind of make an effort to meal plan something interesting or unique. On this particular day, we had enchilada sweet potatoes. Basically, you make up some taco meat and you season it how you like to season it. I'm super lazy. I just do taco meat and salsa, cumin and chili powder and salt and garlic. But you know, and I just mix it up. And after that, you've baked some sweet potatoes. You mix the sweet potato, the uh, hamburger meat and maybe some salsa and you just mix it all in and then you stuff it's like a twice baked potato but they're sweet potatoes you stuff your sweet potatoes with that filling and then throw some cheese on top you can tell we like cheese in this house <laughs> and you bake it and those are just absolutely delicious so you probably are noticing there's a lot of dairy in these meals. Yes, there is. Grass-fed dairy is really fantastic for healing that tooth decay. Now, I know not everyone can have it, and quite honestly, I limit dairy most of the time during the year, except when we are healing cavities. But if dairy is a problem, you can get similar nutrients from things like bone broth and certain organ meats. So. There are ways around it if you can't do the dairy. It's just simplest for us, and that's how we get it in, is doing those grass-fed dairy products. So, I hope you liked this video. We will have another video coming out 
on Monday, which is gonna give you some ideas for healthy snacks and budget-friendly and time-friendly things. So if you like these food videos, there will be another one on the way. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Join our crew. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.